Hey, what's happening guys? Happy Friday morning to you. Today we're going to take a look at a soldering station. This is the KSGER C210B. That number refers to the type of tips. These are JBC210 type tips. Lead free soldering station, peak power 85 watts, input 100 volts to 250 volts. And we can take a look here at the little manual they've included here. So we have hibernation, so if you put the handle in the holder, it automatically goes to sleep. Temperature setting. Three settings, I'm not quite sure. Temperature compensation. You can adjust it so that it actually reads what the temperature is. Changing the heaters and changing from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Ambient working temperature, 2 amp fuse, 85 watts. Temperature, 150 to 480 C. Soldering tip grinding resistance, less than 2 ohms. Alright, let's see what we got in the box. Now, the first thing we have is our handle. It's kind of a hard plastic, and this is... This is like the old uh, things these kids used to put on their pencils back in the 70s and 80s when I was in school. Din type connector there. This is the uh, grounding connection. And there's our extremely tiny JBC 210 head or uh, tip. sponge action and the star of the show there it is rotary encoder there you got some tip storage up here there's your handle this is very light this way is almost nothing Let's see what's inside, right? Why not? Alrighty. Grab us a tip here, and away we go. Oh, almost lost that one. And one more. Uh, I'm take this off. No, I shouldn't. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's do this, take this off of here, one more, pardon me, I know it's probably boring, but stick with me for a second. Interesting that they put everything. Yeah, I miss one. Yep, there's a grounding screw there. It's interesting that they mounted in the two halves of the case instead of putting everything together in one spot, you know. Right, what we got now? Now, can we get it out of here? There we go. Pardon the mess. Uh, I don't know where that came from. If I have an idea. Okay. So let's take a look at what we got here. Coming in from the back from the electrical input. There's our grounding lead, which is split off into two places. 
One of them is coming back out here for our external ground. The other one's grounded onto this circuit board. So we've got our power coming in here. Or no, power's coming in here on this side. We got an X2 type capacitor, we got a choke, another capacitor, NTC. It's just a switch mode power supply. The switch mode power supply then takes us down here to the control board. So, yeah, there's really, really not much going on inside of here at all. Nice economy of building. This seems to be some sort of Now, well, you guys can see there's like some sort of clear plastic here that's glued this front panel in. Cool. So, putting this thing back together, the design just doesn't seem that great. See how that thing's sitting crooked in there? That's just the way they have it. You know, whatever fits, I guess. Crazy, huh? So I can't find this thing on Amazon yet, but um, it is on AliExpress for $60 US, which is, you know, about an average price for a import type soldering station. So we'll see. Get our sponge out. Get our handpiece ready. taking this velcro thing off of here because it's just going to get in my way on a soldering iron handle it's already annoying me just trying to get it off damn you velcro why must you stick to yourself so well Woo, okay so now this is just going to click in slot in as the British would say oh that wasn't so good no all I did was put a little pull on that and the whole thing just sprung apart this doesn't inspire great confidence Now, so to put this together, you're supposed to put this in here and then push here. All right. And that'll fit up there like a so. Get our grounding strap out. And that's going to connect to that grounding port. And where am I going to connect her? Do, 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 do. Let me screw I can grab onto back here. Yep. Just clicked it to a screw on that power bank there. All right, let me find the right cable for it because it came with a European style cable. And we'll come back and hook it up and see what we see. All right, got an IEC cable. Get that out of the way. Plug that in there. <laughs> this is a heavy cable. It's not wanting to play nice all right adjust the camera here a little bit power it up and through we get 
SLP. I don't know what that means. Where did I put that manual? One moment. Okay. SLP apparently means it's hibernating. So if I take it out of there, there we go. 300. Take it up to about 350 after I like it. And we'll tin the tip. One a moment, please. All right, so we got our solder goo here. Solder, brass wool. Let's warm her up. The handle feels good. Very light. The cable is nice, soft silicone, so it's not going to get in your way. It bends out of the way quite easily. All right, so I'm just going to dip that in the rosin. There we go. This takes a few minutes of just cleaning and soldering. So I'll be back when I'm done. All right, I think we got her tinned up pretty well here. Let's see. Focus. Yep. So you can also see it's just getting the solder there at the tip. But I think it'll be all right. And I think we're ready to roll. So let's solder something big and juicy into a board and see what we get. I got a little board here. Let's start with a uh, resistor. Shouldn't be any trouble. And we'll get a nice zoom. Wait for this thing to get to its proper temperature, which happened, wow, in about a second. A little dab for thermal transfer here. And then we'll see how she solders. No problem at all. Take a look here. Hmm. No worries. What I like most so far is the super quick recovery time. So, very cool. All right, let's see how it does on a splice. I doubt there will be any trouble at all, but we're just going to find out. Nice Western Union style splice. see we're up to temperature and let's see what we get Hello. just give you a few seconds for that to warm up that's a small tip yeah it's working fine it is uh, a bit slower than with a larger soldering tip but other than that seems to do the job very well so yeah it looks pretty good you know if you ignore my Careless whisker sticking out there. You never want to, never want to leave those. Make sure you trim them always, because Murphy's Law. You know, if they can touch something and ground out, they absolutely will. But yeah, this thing is a, it's a nice little package. And again, it uses those JBC 210 tips, which are 
you know, much smaller than the uh, T12 tips. This isn't the T12. This is a uh, one of those conical tips. Yes, but you can see the size difference there. It's almost like an order of magnitude. And uh, I think it would be good for getting into tight places. Let's take a look at it on uh, the computer and get a price and all that. So here's the product in the KSGER official store, the C210B digital soldering station, original auto sleep, fast heating, smart control for photo, photoelectric. So why is that in rubles? <laughs> One moment. Well, that took me like 10 minutes to keep clicking on this, trying to change it up here, but whatever. We got it working. So here it is again, a 66.99. And this gives you some pictures of it. Oh, and my dumb butt at the beginning when I couldn't figure out what SLP means. I know you were all yelling at me. Sleep. It means sleep, Paul. Yeah, I know. Figured it out eventually. <laughs> there are some sizes and dimensions. And there's different types of tips you can get. Let's see if there's any other ones. I'm not familiar with this style of soldering station. because This is probably more for the later, um, you know, surface mount stuff. C210 soldering tip. See what we got. Oh, there you go. That looks like a nice assortment for twenty bucks. You get some nice different shapes there. Got a couple conicals, couple knife. Oh, there's three shapes, so that must be what there is. Okay. Good. Well, I'd like to thank uh, KSGER for sending this out to us. It's a decent little soldering station. I think uh, we'll keep it around. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.